transcribe. Okay, great. It's being transcribed, Mr. Wilkins. We accuse Mr. Kenneth M. Wilkinson and his office and his agency of criminal activities, in particular, fraud, criminal fraud, and civil fraud. Okay. Deliberate deprivations. Sorry, did you have a question? Yes, I do. Okay. What is your question, sir? Uh, first of all, I'd like to have all the names. Yes, we do do that. Okay. Sir. You, have to, okay. you have to give me a chance to read the sure. position number and the parcel number then, and then I'll have everyone that's present identify themselves for the record. I do just want to note, these are public hearings, therefore anyone may attend these hearings that wishes. This is part of Florida's government in the sunshine, so the hearing is open and available to the public. Uh, for the record, we are here on petition number 2009. 01249, parcel number 12442001000150015A. And, sir, um, would you help me with the pronunciation? I don't want to mispronounce your name. Uh, you mean to pronounce it Dr. Bossi or Dr. Busey? Okay, which would you prefer? Uh, Dr. Busey is perfect. Okay, and the petitioner is Dr. Busey. I'm Lori Rotlin, Special Magistrate. No, I'm sorry, sorry. I don't know when it is all, always. Uh, swept on the table. Yes, There's I'm two owners on record, and this is already incorrect. Yes, okay. I'm the owner. Okay. So well, I, according to my records, I have that the owner's name is um, G. I'm sorry, J O R G B U C. I know it. Oh, yeah, that's it was correct. Okay, that's fine. Right. You can you can address that when we get to that that point. That's is why I have it filing the petition. Um, and. That is what I have listed as far as the petitioner's name. If you want to address the issue of ownership, that's fine when we get to that. Um, what, what I'd like to do, sir, is we'll start with you, and we can just go around the room. Each person state their name and the relationship to the petition. If you're observing, just say observer, um, and we'll note that for the record. After we've done that, um, if you are participating in the hearing and you expect to testify, I'll swear you in at that time, and then we can get started. Yeah, and it's relevant to the record that uh, my qualifications include I'm a medical physician, so I'm a medical doctor. I was a research fellow at the University of Chicago. I did my fellowship. Okay, so so right now, let, me, let me finish. You don't interrupt me, okay? Sir, yes, sir. right now we're doing the introduction. Yes, and I'm and saying that we're gonna do I'm going and straight to my real estate qualifications. Okay. I happen to be... Oh, I see right, sir. Sorry. Sir, it's all I see right now is your name, and your relationship to the petition. And I'm adding that I'm state certified residential appraiser. And what is your name, sir? My name is Dr. Busey. I mentioned uh, that. And, and I'm a young. Is that correct, sir? Yes, and I also wear the hat of the state certified appraiser. It's very relevant as you can. Right. That's fine, knows. sir. Okay, I'm also a broker associate in the state of Florida, and I'm also an appraisal instructor. That is relevant to my allegations okay. well, and the support of the fraud allegations okay. against Canada. So right now all we're doing is introducing ourselves with our yeah, names and our relationships. Is, 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 is it or is it not? I think oh, you have an opportunity to present your case. At this point, we're stating our name and relationship to the petition so that I can get to the point where I can allow you to present your testimony and evidence. And then you can address that if you'd like. Okay, ma'am. Okay, I'm Jennifer Franklin Prescott. I'm the co of the parcel question. Okay, so my name is Brian Bevan. I'm here because of my knowledge that Mr. Wilkinson is a corrupt individual. And over the last so are you an observer or are you participating? He's a victim, just like myself. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm asking, sir. Are you oh. participating? My name is Lisa Bevan. I'm an observer. Right. And let's start with the table first, and then we can work around right that. Paul Everhart, Lee County Property Appraiser's Office, Ag Assessment Department. Thank you. Roger Alejo, Lee County Property Appraiser's Office, Agriculture Assessments. And the end of the table. <coughs> Jack Peterson, I'm uh, the Property Appraiser's Attorney today. All right. And uh, behind, if you're observing, if you would just state that, please. Roger, did you observe it? Ken Wilkinson, observe it. Is it here, sir? I'll have to be sure. Okay. Thank you. All right, 
so before we begin, just a few um, bits of housekeeping. The procedure that we'll be following, the petitioner will have the opportunity to present evidence and testimony subject to the evidentiary rules that are in place. Uh, then the property has, uh, appraiser has the opportunity to cross-examine those that testify. Likewise, I hear from the property appraiser as to the reasons for the denial. They may present their evidence and testimony subject to the evidentiary rules in place. Then you may ask questions or cross-examine them concerning their te testimony. Um, I do not review the files ahead of time, so I'm not aware of the property or the issues in dispute. Um, I only consider in making my decision. The testimony and evidence that would be presented at the hearing, I do not um, allow for any submissions after the conclusion of the hearing. So if you expect to testify at this time, I would ask you to raise your right hand to be sworn in. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. I do. Uh, all right, sir, um, it's your opportunity then to present evidence and testimony in support of your request for the agricultural classification. And I don't know anything about your property. It's useful if you want to tell me the location um, and size of the property and the, uh, the agricultural use that you are claiming. Yes. We'll be delighted to comment on the size, the area, and the acreage of that riparian golf front property in the context of this agricultural classification hearing. Um, I'd like to again, in the context of the criminal activities by this office, notify you, the magistrate, that both Mr. Wilkinson and his attorney and the defendant and various civil actions uh, Mr. Jack and Peterson, he sits right there, um, threatened, <coughs> intimidated, and criminally coerced me and or Ms. Prescott to refrain from attending this and or other related hearings by demanding the payment of $5,000. I'm accusing both Mr. Wilkinson and Mr. Peterson, after having dealt with them for years of criminal activities, including public corruption, fraud, deliberate deprivations, obstruction of justice. Now, ma'am, back to your question. We're here for the agricultural classification denial. What are we talking about? First of all, we're talking about, and I'm also talking as, again, the state-certified residential appraiser and appraisal instructor. We're talking about, um, would you mind showing that the um, petition, the petition, are you yeah, the information <laughs> pertaining to the strap number? Okay. Okay, I'm reading on the record that the strap is based on the United States Rectangular Survey System 124201000150158. That's the partial or strap number or PID for property identification number. As the audience notices, there are 17 digits to that partial number. The first <coughs> six identify the